Symmetry has long been a fundamental concept in physics, shaping how we understand everything from planetary motion to the tiniest particles. But recent discoveries suggest that this trusted principle may not hold under all conditions. An international team of physicists, led by Professor Deepankar Duda from Mississippi State University, has conducted an experiment that challenges our long-held beliefs about symmetry in the subatomic world. Their research, published in Physics Letters B, reveals that quarks, the building blocks of protons and neutrons, don't always behave symmetrically when struck by high-energy electrons. In this video, we'll break down the experiment, explore its implications for the strong nuclear force and the standard model, and dive into how it connects with deeper concepts like CP violation, neutrino behavior, and symmetry breaking in the early universe. At the heart of this groundbreaking research is an experiment conducted at the Thomas Jefferson National Accelerator Facility in Virginia. The team used a technique known as semi-inclusive, deep inelastic scattering, CITUS, where high-energy electrons are fired at protons and deuterons, a type of hydrogen nucleus containing one proton and one neutron. This method allows scientists to observe how quarks behave when they're knocked out of their usual positions within protons and neutrons. The focus was on how these quarks transform into other particles, specifically charged pions. This transformation process is known as fragmentation. The researchers measured the production rates of positively and negatively charged pions resulting from the fragmentation of different quark flavors, up and down quarks, from both protons and deuterons. What they found was unexpected. The fragmentation functions, which describe the probability of a quark transforming into a particular type of pion, showed a dependence on the flavor of the quark and the energy levels involved. At higher energies, the fragmentation functions appeared to be flavor independent, aligning with the principle of symmetry. However, at lower energies, this symmetry broke down especially for unfavored fragmentation processes where the quark flavor doesn't match the valence quark in the resulting pion. These observations suggest that the long-assumed symmetry in quark behavior doesn't hold under all conditions. The findings challenge the conventional understanding that up and down quarks behave identically when their charges are flipped, a principle known as charge symmetry. Symmetry has long been a guiding concept in physics, particularly in describing the strong nuclear force, an interaction governed by quantum chromodynamics, QCD. This theory explains how quarks are confined inside protons and neutrons, with their interactions mediated by gluons and preserved through the symmetry of color charge. The recent experiment, however, shows that quark fragmentation is not always symmetrical. In particular, unfavored fragmentation events deviate from expected behavior. This suggests more complex interactions than previously modeled, or that our understanding of color confinement under QCD may need refinement. These findings feed directly into broader concerns about the completeness of the standard model of particle physics. While this model elegantly explains most known particles and interactions, except gravity, it relies heavily on symmetries, gauge, flavor, and parity among them. But observed anomalies, like flavor-dependent fragmentation and previous discoveries, such as neutrino oscillations, indicate these symmetries can break. Neutrinos, once thought massless and unchanging, have been found to shift between flavors, electron, muon, and tau, as they move through space. This oscillation directly contradicts early assumptions and highlights that unknown forces may be at play. Both quark asymmetry and neutrino behavior reinforce that the standard model, though powerful, is not the final theory. These challenges motivate exploration into new frameworks like supersymmetry, SUSY, and string theory. These models propose deeper, more fundamental symmetries or extra dimensions that could reconcile existing gaps. Although experimental confirmation remains elusive, findings like those from Professor Dutta's team provide compelling reasons to keep searching.
symmetry breaking isn't confined to the laboratory, it's a phenomenon that shaped the cosmos. One of the biggest puzzles in physics is the universe's matter-antimatter imbalance. According to the Big Bang Theory, equal amounts of matter and antimatter should have been created and annihilated each other. But clearly, matter won. Why? One answer may lie in CP violation, where the combined symmetries of charge C and parity P aren't conserved. First detected in kaon decays and later observed in B-mesons, CP violation suggests nature slightly favors matter over antimatter in certain interactions. These rare, asymmetrical decays might be the key to understanding why our universe exists at all. The fragmentation asymmetries discovered by Dutta's team echo this concept. By showing that even quark interactions break symmetry under specific conditions, it reinforces that these violations aren't isolated quarks. They're part of a deeper universal pattern. This also deepens the mystery surrounding QCD. As the theory governing the strong force, QCD operates under the assumption of color charge symmetry. But when flavor symmetry itself fails, as seen in the experiment, it may indicate that QCD needs to be adapted, especially in its nonlinear, non-perturbative regimes, which remain difficult to fully model. Technologically, understanding symmetry breaking has enormous potential. Quantum computing, which relies on manipulating entangled quantum states, depends on the control of symmetry and coherence. Advancements in medical imaging, like PET scans, benefit from precise particle interaction models, improved by deeper knowledge of subatomic symmetries. Even material science, from superconductors to semiconductors, depends on understanding how particles behave in symmetrical versus broken states. Astroparticle physics also stands to benefit. Long baseline neutrino experiments like DUNE are investigating whether neutrino oscillations and symmetry violations occur over astronomical distances. When findings from cosmic scales are combined with terrestrial experiments like those at Jefferson Lab, we edge closer to a unified theory of matter. Ultimately, symmetry breaking isn't a flaw in nature's code. It's a profound clue. In every tiny deviation, the universe is giving us a glimpse into its deeper workings. From the transformations of neutrinos to the subtle imbalance found this exploration into the breaking of symmetry in the subatomic world fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the latest scientific discoveries. Stay curious, and until next time, keep questioning the universe.